start here. All right. So, Wendy, when you remember dividing, all right, there's two different ways we could use division. We used synthetic division, and we also learned long division, right? Now, sometimes I said, hey, you had a preference. You could use whatever one you wanted to. Right? And, but sometimes I said you can only use synthetic division on this type, or you can only use long division. Right? Now, by looking at both of these problems, hey Daniel, by looking at both of these problems, what we can see is there is a difference between which process we can use and what we need to do before to use each uh, method. Does anybody remember what we have to have for us to use synthetic division? There's something very, very important that we have to have. I'm sorry? The exponents has to be it has to be in standard form, so it's in descending order. That's correct. Doesn't there have to be like a comma between the two? Yeah, well, I mean, I could write divide these two and then comma them, but I'm just writing that as a division problem. But yeah, there's different ways to write it up there. When we were using, we, could, we used synthetic division, yes, when we were trying to find the zeros or the zeros of a function. No, it means something that was in that little box over there. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, but I, I haven't asked that question yet. I haven't, what I haven't decided though yet, I, can we use synthetic division for this problem? And there's a specific reason, yes or no, we can. Does anybody know that, yes? Oh, uh, yes, because you have binomial? Not so much just a binomial. But it is a linear binomial, and the exponent is raised to the first power. All right? You have to have x minus c in that form, whatever else. But you have to have an exponent raised to the first power. So all I'm telling you guys is if this problem looked like this, you could not use synthetic division. You would have to use long division, which we can show you in a different video if you guys forgot. But since this is to a linear problem, we now know, OK, I can use synthetic division. So the next thing is, so if we have it as a factor, we now write the 0, which would be 2, right? Because remember, we set x minus 2 equal to 0. And then you solve, so x equals 2, right? So that's your 0. So you plug the 2 in there. Then the next couple things is, um, so now you got to go back to what Ronnie said and make sure that's in descending order. So we have x cubed, x squared, x, and then negative 3. So now what we're going to do is write the coefficients. 1, negative 1, 9, and negative 3. And what if I was missing one? Does anybody remember what number do we put in for missing one? Zero. Zero, right? So you got to remember, if you're missing a term, you put it in for there. So now we bring down the 1, 1 times 2. Bring down the 1, 1 times 2 is 2. 1, 2, 7. 7 times 2 is 14, 11. Uh, what? What? Oh, it's, I was adding, you're right, it's 11, right? Thank you, you add. 11 times 2 is 22. Uh, so that's going to be 19. Okay, so for this one, now we have a remainder. So we know that it does not divide evenly, and that's fine. So we can say that here's your remainder, constant linear, and quadratic. So our final equation, our divisor, our dividend is going to be x squared plus x plus 11 plus your remainder, 19, over our divisor, which is x minus 2. Okay. So that will be your final answer. Questions?